Now again she is coming. वो फीडबैक फॉर्म आप जरूर भर दीजिए कैन यू हियर मी सो मच यस यस नहीं दे आर नॉट एबल टू हियर नहीं वी आर गेटिंग यू हेलो आपकी आवाज आ रही है हां आई ओके सो दीप कैन यू हियर मी यस मैम कैन यू हियर मी यस मैम यस ओके चलिए फाइनली द सुदीप हैज गॉट कनेक्टेड हां सुदीप हैज गॉट गिव मी द होस्ट एक्चुअली आई थिंक दैट दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम गिव मी द होस्ट हां आई विल मेक यू होस्ट मे बी द पीपल आफ्टर वर्ड्स गेटिंग कनेक्टेड हां पीपल विल कम अभी तो श्योर चाय पी के लोग आ रहे होंगे उससे मैंने तो टाइम पे छोड़ दिया था इनको 340 सुदीप इन व्हिच एरिया यू आर सुदीप सुदीप इन व्हिच एरिया यू आर मैम You are asking about physical location. Yeah. I am in Telangana, ma'am. Yeah. Earlier, uh, earlier I was in Dadri. Okay. In November I moved to Telangana. Mm. Madam, host is converted, shifted to you. You are now host. See you. wondering what to do today so much cracking. corona is there again Can you see my screen? No, ma'am. Actually, host is uh, shifted to Verma, sir. Oh. Actually, Verma ji. There is a lot of uh, network issue with your connection, ma'am. Yeah, Verma. I exactly. Verma ji, 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 No, actually, sometimes the host, sometime, now you uh, we are able to hear you, but uh, okay. Most of the time, it is your voice is not at all clear. We are not able to get anything. <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm so helpless. Actually, this is the networking issue. I cannot that do what, anything. That is what. Technical issues. Yeah, that is the great, yeah, is that is the great networking issue. Hmm. Yeah. Baba ji, give me the host. Think. He has gone. Yeah, he is connected. See, अच्छा, he got disconnected from his end. Uh huh. I'll have to call. Yeah. Just, just give me a sec. Please, whenever you are getting disconnected, the host right is going back to Varma sir. Ah, exactly. Every time there will be the problem. <laughs> he would have left your. <laughs> yeah, he must be busy with his. Your internet work. connection is. <laughs> he has just finished his <laughs> session. He might be taking his lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is not picking phone also. Hmm. No, he is not answering. So should I start the topic if you people are are able to hear? 
Yeah, yes, ma'am. Let me put, drop the message to him and we can start the yeah. Hello. topic actually. So the uh, ah, no, yes. Baba ji. Uh, give, me host, give me the host. No. No, it got disconnected actually, and after that host went to you again. No, no problem. I will just transfer. Okay, now transfer goes to you. Okay. Post is transferred to you. Are you there? Not. Can you see the screen now? No, ma'am. Is it my screen which is visible? No, ma'am. It's blank. Is it? No. No. That share screen is not coming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, not coming in. Just... Yeah, but actually, you are host now, ma'am. So it should be coming. I don't know why it is not coming. Yeah. Why it's not coming? I'll Maybe have to your check network it is not stable. So that is the reason it is taking time. Ah, it's not a stable. It's coming. It's un unstable, actually. Just, just wait for a sec. Let me that get is it right. not, It's not able to take the load, actually. Yeah, now we can see. networking
Varma sir, you are again the host. Madam got disconnected.
Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir, ma'am, we are able to hear you. Okay. So please just speak actually, because there's a problem with the... So, Varma ji, just give me the host. Varma ji, give me the host. Yeah, yeah, right. Varma ji is not speaking. Just a minute. Please, you be here. Today is such a networking issue, Varma ji, you don't go anywhere. Because I'm <laughs> calling you. You are not you. going anywhere. I have cancelled all my phone. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry for bothering you, Maybe. but yes, such a frequent disconnection is there. Then don't worry, I'm here. Okay, okay. Right. So can you see now? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, okay. ma'am. And very good afternoon. We are seeing. I'm sorry for bothering you, people, but I cannot help you out because you'll have to bear the networking issues. Okay, so today's topic is resource planning actually. So resource planning, what topics I'll be covering, you can see it on. What is resource planning? Why resource planning? How to do the resource planning? Then process of resource management, techniques, then best practices. And then in the end, we'll be talking about the training resource management system, the software is, is used for that. So for coming to the first topic, what is the resource planning actually? Resource planning actually the manpower planning we used to call. So we used to plan for the manpower to whom we are hiding for the company actually. But resource planning is all about the human resource as well as the non-human resource planning actually. So when coming to the resources, in fact, what is the resources? Who can tell me? What, what do we mean by resource? What is resources? There are three actually, man, uh, machine, man, machine, material. These are the uh, finance. I mean. What are they? That's what I'm asking. The resource is the simple meaning of the resources means. What do we mean by the resources actually? Actually, the material yeah. available or the uh, product. Uh, that is what a resource is. Mm. A supply or a supply of material or an asset. A person, mm. these are all resources. Mm. A stock. This is what you can yeah. call it a resource. Yeah, so you all are talking about the type of resources actually. So when we say it is a resource, what is a resource actually? Is anything, it can be anything that is needed to execute a task or a project. Okay, this can be the human resource, this can be the financial resource, this can be the physical resource, this can be the infrastructure, this can be the logistic resources. This can be the skill set of employees, the adoption of software. Okay, so a resource when we call, call the word that the resource is anything that is needed to execute a task or a project because resource planning is generally is done for the any project actually. And when we are going for ahead with the, the big, big training actually, so training is also a kind of project or kind of event actually. So you need to understand that once you're having the training plan, last session we have done the training plan and the training budget. So once you are having the training plan in your hand, and once you have have done the training budget, actually, so your next step is to move ahead with the resource planning. Resource planning is a what is resource planning? You can see on the the script. A resource planning describes how people and physical resources will be estimated, acquired, developed, managed, and controlled. So, in elaborate manner, in the process of the resource management, we'll be discussing about all these steps. Actually, so resource planning is the process of allocating tasks to human and non-human resources because physical resources are non-human resources. So human and non-human both are covered under the resource planning. So how to allocate them? We are allocating the task to the human resources and how to allocate the non-human resources, the physical resources so that they are maximized for the efficiency. So basically it is the process to identify the resources required to deliver a training or a specific project actually. In the bigger picture, it will be saying because resource planning is, the, is the, the primary factor of the resource management. When we talk about the resource planning, that means we are talking about the planning or resource management. So how to manage the resources how to, about the planning about that is known as. So it's a part of the resource management act. Actually. So resource management in the bigger picture, if all is the pre, we need to admit that all, just a moment. More people are there. 
Okay, so resource management is the process of pre-planning, scheduling, and allocating your resources to maximize the efficiency. So resource manage management is all about doing more in less resources. In context of training, if I'll be saying about resource planning, what is it out actually? So resource planning is all about train more in less resources. Okay, so no company likes the waste actually. Especially in the business, because the business people are into the money making actually. So especially into the business, no company likes the waste. And that's why we are going ahead for the resource planning actually. Okay, so is it clear what is resource planning? And why it is, so once we are having the training plan and the training budget, we need to go ahead with the resource planning for the success of the project. For success of any project, we need to go ahead for the resource planning. Why it is required? So the next, why resource planning is required. So resource planning is essential first to ensure the availability of right resources. We are not talking about the resources only. We are talking about the right resources now. So why resource planning is required is to ensure the availability of right resources for the right people at the right time and at the right place. What do we mean by in terms of the training, if we'll be talking about then who is the right people as right resources we have already discussed the training resources required the financial resources physical resources human resources infrastructure and the logistic requirement is there for the completion of the any training project actually for delivering any training program for for implementing it in it about training program these right resources are required and for the right people means we are talking about right. in the company terms the training manager or the training team Okay, so how to make all the right resources available to the training manager and the and his team at the right time at the right place? That is all about the the why resource planning is required. Okay, secondly, why the resource planning is required to finish the project within scheduled timing, whatever timing, whatever the duration we have decided, how to 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 finish it out in that scheduled timing in that scheduled duration. That is the focus of the resource planning actually. Then third, why to finish the project within the planned budget? We have done the budgeting. Uh, if you can recall into, into the last sessions, we have done the, the, the how many times we have done the, the plan budgeting? Training budget. In how many times? How many ways we can go for the calculating the training budget? Anyone? The last session only we have done. Anyone can tell the, about the training budget? No one? Training budget in the three ways we have discussed in the last session only. What was that? Annual salary budget of the employees multiply one to three percent one to three percent of the annual salary budget of the employees is equivalent to the training budget in which company who are strategically committed to the employees learning and development who are strategically committed to the leadership development those couple then the second was that industrial specific per employee, per employee average uh, per, per employee, employee average, average Exactly, multiplied by FTEs. FTEs. Hmm. Now you can, yeah, FTEs is equivalent to training. Budget. Totally. And the third was that, who can tell me the third way? Predetermined pre training needs, estimated cost hmm. and include that number of parts. The third way was that we are cost. not going for the training budget, we are going for the training for estimation yes. actually. Yeah. That is for per session, as for the initiative. So first was the training need assess after the training need assessment. So training is decided. They are not going for the, the committed. They are not the committed company actually. Whenever it will be required, the training will be taking the training initiative. Like the next year, they are planning some company plan to go for the leadership training. Some com company plan to go for the supervisory level training. Some company plan to go for the operative level training. Some company plan for to go for the new hirings or the onboarding training. So, so this way, and then, then the next level into the third is the going for the cost estimation, and that includes the number of participants, the training trainers fees, then venue cost, then 
What cost? Material cost. Material cost, facility cost, food. Cost, then putting a lot. So these and this way only we are doing the estimations actually. So to finish, so whatever the budget, training budget we have decided actually to finish the project in that set budget actually is the focus of the resource planning actually. If you're not going for the plan, take a, what I said in the, so many planning we have discussed in the first semester, also strategic planning, the HR strategy we have discussed about HR the process we have discussed about actually. So every planning the, about the planning, what is said, KK, if you are not planning, you are if you are if you are failing to plan. What what is said? If you are failing to plan, that means you are planned to fail. So planning, why the planning is required actually? Correct actually, then you need to plan. So and that is the reason the resource planning is actually. If you don't want to to fail into delivering or implementing any training project, then you need to have the resource planning actually. Okay, and the last, I have, as I have told you, to meet the strategic goal and the business objective. If you want to achieve the strategic goal and the business objective of the company, actually, if you because it is aligned with the organization, the training needs to be aligned with the organization's success. And that is the reason the resource planning is required, actually. So these are the reasons to ensure the availability of right resources for the right people at the right time, at the right place, to finish the project within the if you want to finish the project within the schedule timing we need to have the resource planning and if you want to meet the strategic goal and the business objective we need to have the resource planning so this is the resource planning till here is it clear any question till here because networking is the issue that's why i'm little quick till here what what is the resource planning why resource planning is required? Is it clear to all of you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma so should I move? Okay. So now we'll be talking about the advantages of the resource planning. What are the advantages of the resource planning actually? So as you can see, the first advantages of the resource planning is that it avoids unforeseen hiccups. That is unforeseen interruptions. It avoids. Uh, what is happening actually because when you're doing the, the resource planning, it is a perfect tool to keep the track of your resources. That what are available, what resources are available in-house, what is needed to be acquired, what are surplus, what are shortage, and then you need to, you can fill the gap. So it optimization to resource management is all about the optimization and the, and the efficiency. So avoid how we are avoiding the unforeseen interruptions by understanding your resource upfront and planning how to use them. You can troubleshoot gaps or problems before they happen actually. So when you're doing the resource planning actually, you can view it out actually. Take what we are having the available resources what we, we need to acquire and then what is the gap surplus gap and actually so this is the most one advantage of all now there's no ambiguity right now we are doing the planning that's why the done actually planning is done any planning i'm talking about actually is done because of that whether we are talking about the strategic planning we are talking about the hr planning whether we are talking about the resource planning training planning planning is it done not to get the of the Ma'am, there is no sound now. I think network issue. Yes, 
से देखो हेलो 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 कैन यू ऑल हियर मी या या ओह सो फ्रीक्वेंट इट्स डिस कनेक्टिंग सो आई एम सॉरी यू पीपल नीड टू टू नॉक नॉक एवरी टाइम एक्चुअली बिकॉज़ सो फ्रीक्वेंटली दिस डिस कनेक्टिंग okay so talking about the advantages the first advantages have is avoid the unforeseen interruption of the hiccup and then prevent the burnout when the burnout what how how we are telling it out when we are doing the resource planning we are assigning the roles the skill set is required what experiences are required and it is the team members are very very clear about it out so it is avoiding the ambiguity and that with team workload is also divided so it is preventing the burnout in that case so third advantage is the provide a safety net providing a safety net how it is providing a safety net actually let's say that the project to, was not successful due to lack of resources some project and it happens actually it's, it's not that it, it doesn't happen actually it happens that so many times the the as we are expecting the training programs are not going that successful actually due to the lack of resources actually so how it is providing a safety net actually of the soft planning and the management is that you did everything you could have what your resources had a resource planning and the management establishes that that you did everything you could with what resources available with you so resource planning the resource management can prove that you did best in available resources because the resource planning you are having whatever is the available resources there that you can show to the management also so resource planning is actually proving that you did best in available resources and that way it provides a safety net all to the training team or the training manager actually so this is the advantages of the one of the advantages of the resource planning next we are moving that with the built transparency building how is building the transparency actually see ki when everything is in black and white there is no ambiguity then the it builds transparency and helps in taking decisions on whether you can whether and plan accordingly if whether you can plan accordingly if your team is at maximum capacity or available to take any new project so when you are doing the resource planning you are having the clarity actually that whether you can go ahead with the the another project also by hand to hand so another other team can gain visibility into your teams bandwidth so what is happening is how it is building transparently and it is helping in taking decisions on whether you can you can take or manage other projects as well in available resources not only one project because in the company we are going for the more than one project at a time actually so it is a build the transparency and that way we can take the decisions so it is helping in improving the decision making as well next is the measure efficiency so how it is measuring the efficiency actually with a high level understanding of what is needed to manage and how to execute an upcoming project you can effectively plan and measure roi return on investment it helps in maximizing the efficiency it helps in effective utilization of the resources getting it out so it is helping you into the pre planning scheduling allocation and that way it is maximizing the efficiency actually and that way it is effectively you can plan and measure return on investment roi cost benefit analysis is become easy by the this process actually so these are the advantages actually now moving ahead with how to do the resource planning so we have till now we have discussed So what is the resource planning why resource planning is required and what are the advantages of the resource planning and then we are moving for the how to do the resource planning actually in the simpler manner in the simple project to the small projects if you are going ahead then the in the three simple steps actually you can do the resource planning 
so elaborate manner will be going ahead with the all the processes after this slide actually but in the simple the, if you are working in any startup company in the smaller company actually and they are going ahead with the some initiative they are not into the regular trainings actually so sometime as per the training need assessment they are planning and they are taking the training initiative so in the three steps you can do that in the three easy steps you can go ahead with the resource planning the so step what is the step one the step one identify what resource required okay and as you can see the training resources involve the financial resources human resources that means we are talking about the the roles what experiences what experience is required for the training team and then the skills what is skills there is skill sets they are requiring any special certification they require or or through the and the human so the team member we talking about the team team resources human resources means team resources or the people resources or the we are talking about the personnel so employees so we are going to 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 take hire those those employees through the third party or through the directly we are going to hire so these are the human resources the human resource planning we are doing it out okay which employee we are requiring what roles we are going to assign them what experiences they should possess what skill set they should possess what special certification required so all these plannings are done into the first step identify the resources actually we are defining over here then the physical resources okay, what which equipment is required which material facilities infrastructure is required infrastructure when we talk about actually so we are talking about the choosing the internet connect so when we are talking about the infrastructure then we are talking about the the venue the room who can tell me about the, which room layouts we can go ahead with for the training programs and depending upon what we are doing the room room layout anyone because the chapter 7 of the janakina book this is the part of the managing paper 8 actually and that is consisting about the the implementation of the training and implementation of the training resources are required these resources are required for implementing the training actually so physical resources i'm talking about the amazon pe ja ke your orders ja in infrastructure the physical resources so choosing the fit beside the room layout whether the room shape will be u shape or the v shape or the theatrical actually or the conference table we need to go sorry to interrupt ma'am but your voice so is quite uh... is, is a specific okay the out yes breaking sorry yes ma'am My voice, voice is, is breaking breaking yes ma'am voice is yes, breaking again and again yeah. oh so people are not able to hear me so sorry because today is such a severe networking issue actually why it's so they are complaining voice is breaking what should i do it's still is no, it is still better no. it is it's better. better it is no. better ma'am it is better now okay let me keep the mic in front of me okay should i should i move ahead okay yes. should i move ahead yes yes ma'am okay sure, so ma we we talk about the room layout okay so we can go for the conference table we can go for the u shape we can go for the v shape we can go for the theatrical shape and then we talking about the the breakout this is all about the when we need to decide room layout and then we decide to decide the breakout room breakout room who can tell me what is the breakout room what is the breakout room who can tell me the breakout room you people are audible how my voice breaking no can you all hear me hello yes ma'am we yes. can hear you now so i was asking what is the breakout room do you know do you understand breakout room
Anyone uh, can tell what, me what is the breakout uh, room? What we have done in one of the exercise from a faculty in the last semester, she took mm. us uh, on the online uh, uh, mode that uh, to the breakout room where you know mm. a group mm. of uh, uh, students or mm. the participants were there where they, we mm. discussed. Uh, mm. a particular topic given by her and then mm. Uh, mm. again you know we reached to the room in in mm. the uh, time given okay. and then we discussed what uh, was given in the groups uh, mm. different topics to discuss so that mm. is what we did in the last semester so what is the difference between the training room and the, the breakout room actually that's what i'm i need to know okay, do you have the clarity training, that what is the difference training between training room is the something where the trainer mm. trains mm the entire uh, uh, mm. participants mm. lot and in breakout room it is divided mm. into few groups where uh, discussion takes place and the uh, summary is mm. uh, given by the train uh, given by the leader to the trainer uh, basically to understand the a particular concept okay. Uh, little little closer actually they get training breakout room is the next to the training room the main training room apart from the main main training room adjacent we are looking for the some room where we can we can conduct the activities whether it's an individual activity or it's a group activities so this is the breakout room adjacent to the training room main, main room actually so we required if you are going to, to to carry for the for the delivering the training if you are going to carry some like a management games we are getting it all so number of times we are doing it out so breakout room is for the in carrying the individual activities or the group activities also so it's a additional room actually next to the main training room actually so we are arranging that also when we are going for the the, the corporate training in fact actually so we are looking for such venue in fact where there is a breakout room as well where we can take the individual candidates and we can go ahead with the the activities the specific activities or the games we can go ahead with them in fact okay so these are the physical resources first step you need to identify what resources are required for your training project you are going to deliver you are going to conduct you are going to implement it out actually then we we are going for the logistic the arrangements so logistic arrangements what we what we, we need to do you mean logistic refers to the movement of the people material and equipment logistic is all about the transportations actually so the logistical arrangements include the preparing training site notifying the people ensuring the that the equipment is in place and the food and the refreshment arrives as ordered so all, all logistical arrangements hmm. Actually, a double check to ensure that everything goes. Ab these talk about resource planning. Ki, what is required? So here, at this step, we are defining what physical resources and what logistic arrangements we are requiring. Actually, then the step. we are determining talking to i had defined that this is all my thing that is required to deliver the training specific training process sorry to interrupt sina ma'am uh, required but, uh, can you refresh your uh, network uh, once again and start with the plan actually so step 2 determine the voice is breaking you need at level you are wiring it is at the people having this at the time of this specific time are required yeah acha can you acha okay just need to i am going to refresh just hold for a second
Hello. Hello. Yes, Can you hear me yes, now? Yeah. Yes, Is it clear? Is it better? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Then let us move. Let me share this screen. Okay, so step two of the how to do the source planning we were discussing actually to determine when you need at which level at which task level you require these resources actually actually you, you are requiring in advance the pre project pl planning when you are doing that time what resources you are requiring for the specific time frame if you are requiring some certain resources you need to decide or through the entire project some resources are required throughout the entire project actually and some projects are some resources are required only if necessary okay so these all things we are step two you need to determine it out so so which level you are required because resources are required at the task level of your plan while because at the task level only you this is the task level when the people are doing performing or completing their specific job actually and that time they'll be requiring the resources so you need to decide those at which level the you are requiring which resources is required actually the step two is all about that then step three we we are going for the negotiate where and how to get them okay so negotiation certain there are some resources may have to be acquired through negotiation actually so internally whether you are going to negotiate it internally or externally or to the third party so so you need to decide actually you need to negotiate and they get to negotiate resources from within the organization the training manager or the project manager should know for that for negotiating you should know the needs of the project and its priorities within the organization and then only you can the of the what kind of resources is required for your project actually and then you can go ahead with the negotiation to be the relevant people actually you need to to have the ability to describe the why you require that resources actually and b you need to be able in assisting for not asking for the best resources if the project does not need them okay be able to prove why the the project requires the stated quality and the quantity of resources whatever quality and quantity of the resources we are demanding we need to prove it out why the project is requiring those quality and the quantity of the resources actually so these are the thing in the step 3 you need to negotiate with where you need these resources and how you will be getting it acquiring the resources so this is all about the acquiring the resources either in house or through the external party or to the third party and sometime some, time, some project request for proposal actually if we, if you're going for the government training project actually so so you need to to bid also for that so this is about the, the government project actually you need to request for the proposal or the bids also into in in that so negotiating is all about that actually you need to neg negotiate it out out okay so best possible resources should be negotiated by the training manager okay so that is the third step in the three steps you can do the resource planning into the smaller company or the startup company so, so who are not strategically committed to do to the employ and learning and development so step one identify what resources required and these the in the actually in the length we'll be discussing the process next to this actually okay so step one you are identifying what resources required step two you determine when you need them and the step 3 where and how you are going to acquire them okay then then next topic is the process of resource as i told you that if you are going for the any any company the bigger the corporate company or the professional company always go for the professional manner actually for for managing or the project so process as i told you the resource planning is the primary factor of the resource management when we talk about the resource planning that means we are talking about the planning the resource management actually and in the professional company we we move ahead with the professional processes actually 
any processes actually more or less or they are they are included in the same kind of steps if the whom so ever have done the classes in the semester one with me but for the strategic planning process the similar processes here also hrd processes also the similar processes are included in when you you are go moving ahead with any planning part actually so when we talk about the process of resource management into the bigger canvas actually then these are the steps which you on the screen you can see it out step 1 is initiating process actually and then planning process then executing process then monitoring and controlling process and then closing process so these are the five steps so we we are moving ahead so initiating process actually you can see it out initiating process so who can tell me how we can add the initiation of the training process any what exactly we need to know before moving to the planning process anybody can tell me at initial what, step uh, what information we need to have yes please go ahead we need to understand what what sort of an audience are we catering to what is the uh, gap that we need to cater this is uh, the initiating process mm. training need analysis in which we basically analyze the entire mm. uh, uh, you know entire training why is it needed whom to it is needed how we're going to do it this is all initiating processes so that is a training plan because the last session we had that is all information so we are gathering at the when we are developing the training plan actually once we are having the plan we are having but ma'am before plan exactly. but before we plan out we need to understand for whom we are doing it ah. and how we are doing it and what is the reason of doing it the mm. planning is something which is uh, how we going to do it mm. when we so going to do it planning specifically planning we are talking about right the source planning actually we are not talking about the training planning right now we are having the training plan in hand we are we are right now about the process process of the resource management so initiating stage we are having the training plan right now so what at the initiating step actually process depends the resource management depends upon the training implementation approaches okay a training program can be implemented in three major ways actually namely by either by outsourcing the program or making conducting in house or by blended going ahead with the hybrid approach or the blended approach by the mixture of the outsourcing and making yourself activities in house so which can be called as blended or hybrid approach so first the initiating is a process we are having the training plan first with the depends upon the training implementation approach actually okay, what is our approach we are we are either we are going for the outsourcing the program or we are going to conduct ourselves in house or we are going for the or we are going for the hybrid approach or we are going for the blended one actually and to choose any one of the for choosing any one of them you require telling right now will be coming to that actually so to to choose any one of them requires analyzing a set of factors which are making so you need to have the making or buying decision you need to make some decisions over here while the while initiating the resource planning actually initiating the resource management actually making or buying decisions what does it covers actually so you can see it out making or buying decisions like a number of people to be trained how many number of people to be trained as you said audience we are talking about the number of audience because we are need to to, to take the decisions right now whether we, we want to go for the in house or we we want to go for the outsource the agencies so number of people what do you need to if, if the number of the people to be trained is more then the program should be in house it is suggested okay and if the number is few or the less then it can be outsourced as well it is advisable outsource okay second making and buying decisions expertise available and required if in house expertise is available then the training manager should not consider outsourcing but if the expertise is not available internally then the training should be outsourced third decisions infrastructure available and required if the required infrastructure is already available in the company then it should consider developing a training in house and then the time deadline if the learning is time sensitive 
and sufficient time is not available for training the entire if we are in rush to move in rush then the entire group of identified people within the available time then outsourcing should be considered if for the training manager and the training team is not is already preoccupied somewhere we are not having the enough time we should go ahead with the outsourcing so 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 approach need to be decided at the initial stage of the resource planning actually which whether we are going to outsource it out or in house or hybrid approach and then we move ahead with the planning process then we move ahead with the planning process so step 2 is all about the planning as i told you that planning resource plan, planning is the primary factor of the resource management and planning processes includes the two processes number one is plan resource management and the second is the estimate activity resource actually ab dekhi kya the plan resource management we have already discussed so this is the process of defining how to estimate acquire manage and utilize the physical as well as team resources so here in this step actually we are talking about the both human resources as well as non human resources actually so we are this is the process of defining because already we have done into how to do it out so this is the step actually ki ki how to move ahead ab dekhiye physical is the non human resources that you have or need and the team resources are basically the human resources or the people or the personnel we required so here you need to plan resource management at this first step of the planning process actually you need to this is the process of define okay how you are going to estimate the training program costing then how to acquire how to manage how to utilize the physical as well as the the human resources and the team resources okay second is the process of the planning processes estimate the activity resources this is the process of estimating this is the process of estimating team resources as well as the type and quantities of material equipment and supplies necessary to perform the training program getting it out so the type and quantity of needed resources are data activities are sequenced which activity we are going to carry where we have to sequence then type and quantity of needed resources are determined so we are doing it out so this is it's so it's talking about both estimating team resources as well as type and quantities of physical resources okay so lack of resources actually is a common problem and that is why why it is required is required to estimate the type and quantities actually because the lack of resource is a common problem for the failure of any project or any program actually so project manager must plan and coordinate resources to avoid their results to avoid their outputs it should not affect the output of the program actually so you need to have the defined activity you need to have the resource breakdown you need to have the resources required resource structured okay so you you need to plan all the these these things estimate you you need to estimate the activity resources into the planning processes actually so this is the step 2 once you have decided the training implementation approach whether you want to go outsource the agency or you want to go for the hybrid you need to plan the processes and the plan the processes you need to define both physical as well as the human resources and then you need to est estimate the after sequencing the activity you need to estimate both the both the resources physical the type and quantities of the physical resources and as well as the the team resources okay and then we are moving at the step 3 that is the executing the processes executing the processes includes the three processes as you can see it out on your screen actually so one is acquire the resources then develop team and the manage team so all as we are talking about the because the resources we talk about the so much because resources the training resources are involving the financial resources and then the physical resources 
and resources and then infrastructure and the logistics arrangements are required actually so when we talk about the resources actually and the developing and managing so you need to 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 understand that human people are the resources who needs to be people are developed and managed whereas materials are controlled after they are estimated and acquired so what i i am trying to say that materials equipment gadget or the physical resources are actually estimated acquired and controlled but when we talk about in terms of developing and managing then it is all about the human resource all about the people because people are developed and managed actually so first step we are going to talk about the the executing process when we are talking so now we have come on acquiring step 1 we define ki which which physical resources which human resources we are going we are requiring but here in the step 3 executing processes we are going to acquire them actually okay and acquiring resource is this is the process of obtaining team members facilities equipment materials supplies and other resources necessary to complete the training program or the training project are you getting me actually here so this is the process of obtaining acquiring actually so we have already defined ki what resources do we are requiring at this step 2 and then at while the planning the training actually and then now we are going to acquire it out so first executing process we are going to acquire it and then all the physical as well as the human resources and then what we are doing actually at this step actually ki other resources so now we'll be talking about the developing the team actually what is the process to do so that so developing the team this is the process of improving competencies team member interaction and overall team environment to enhance the training performance how important is the developing the the people you know it out actually okay, why we are developing the people actually who tell me why we are developing the people we know we all know that planning a, a system to acquire the physical resources can be a significant effort actually but but the process of developing the people are as well very quite significant and as because it results in it results in why we are developing the people actually what is the impact of it into the organization who can tell me what is the impact of developing the people to get the why maximum we are output developing the people to get the maximum output Max, from the resource yeah, to get the maximum yeah, to for the effective utilization yes, of yes. the human resource human resource and maximum as you said but but and the other significant <clears throat> other significant result what is the other significant result actually the decrease turnover in the organizational perspective i asked you okay, why the companies are working on training and development actually okay. why we are into the so much into the developing the team what is the impact of it to on the organization the actually to yeah exactly the to enhance the the skill and knowledge and the performance of the employees then improve the team work it increase in trust and cohesiveness among the team members and the finally higher productivity and then less turn attrition rate reduce reduce the attrition rate exactly it reduces the rate of attrition and it improves the rate of retention retention and that is the rate of retention and that is the significant of the developing the team so this is the process of improving the competencies team member interaction and overall team environment to enhance the training performances actually and the executive third step or third process of the executing is the managing the team so as you know managing the final process this is final process in executing managing the team is the executing the pro the final process in executing process actually group is the managed team so you need to manage the team as well so you are not only going to acquire the team you are not going to acquire the resources you need to to develop the team and then you are because in the terms of human resources right now we are talking about actually so so you know physical resources are not managed they are estimated acquired and controlled but people are developed and managed so this is the process of tracking the team member performance this is the process to providing the feedback resolving issues and managing the team changes to optimize the performance training performance again no mention about the physical resources 
here we are talking about you are dealing with the team resources as part of this process actually so these are the three processes of the executing process group actually okay so acquiring resources is dealing with all physical and human resources but when we talk about the developing team process and the managing team process then we are talking we are talking about only human resources or the team resources or the people we are talking about okay because people are developed and managed in fact so executing process is the this is the inclusive of the three processes actually so now what is step four we are doing so once we have the plan we have defined we have acquired we have developed our team we have managed our team then the step four we need to monitor it and control the process so monitoring and this step is the similar to previous all we have done into the strategic planning or the hrd processes all we have done the similar the monitoring and the controlling process these eyes are told you the steps are similar actually but in context of what we are discussing these steps that is important actually right now we are discussing about the the training resource management planning actually for the training what resources are required how to manage it how to control it out actually okay so this is the the process of ensuring as you can see control Control resources. This is the process ensuring that the physical resources assigned and allocated to the program are available as planned. So this is the process includes monitoring the plan versus actual use of resources and performing corrective action as required. So plan versus actual, whatever planned actually and what actually we is the the difference. Actual use of resources. So that only we are monitoring and we are controlling at this process actually at this process also actually managing the contingency is also the the very while we we'll talk about the controlling the the process then controlling process one important aspect is the managing the contingency as well after to, to we have we have started the training program there are so many problem actually which crop up in between the training program that also we need to manage the contingency actually we need to keep in advance like a like a physical environment we talk about that is a very important very important criteria actually the controlling the the lighting problem the heating problem the air circulation noise noise control getting it out these are the physical environmental resources actually which are the part of the physical resources only actually that needs to be controlled then if some gadget or, or equipment is failing in between so we need to to have the standby for that so managing the con contingency is also very important part of the controlling process actually okay so this, this is the step four then the step five is the closing process so closing process of the process of the resource management, what we need to do, conduct the closeout meeting, then document lessons learned, and then create a closer report, and then archive the project's artifacts. So whatever is the facts of the, after the conducting the training program, you need to preserve all those data actually. So whatever the data is there, whatever the facts of the program is there, you need to, to you need to preserve it out, you need to archive those those facts actually it will be helping you it in modifications of the next training program actually so this is the closing process so here we are developing the report so we are bringing everything in writing over here okay, what lesson has been learned that actually and then what are the facts what are the the pluses and minuses of the program in fact which need to be documented at this process and this is the complete into the bigger canvas this is the process of the resource management actually so first step you need to decide the training implementation approach second you need to go ahead with the planning process actually and then executing the processes say as you you have said and then you have gone for the monitoring and controlling and then closing any any process is, is it clear anything you need to ask till here in the processes part anyone is it clear the process part yes ma'am is it clear okay good so we have and as, as i told you that the planning processes is including the planning process management and then estimate activity resources and the executing processes is inclusive the three processes that is the what are those 
acquiring the resources then developing the team and managing the team and then monitoring and controlling the resources and then the closing you need to document all you need to make the report that what lesson has been learned and then you need to document it out okay so next is the techniques of resource management actually so what are the techniques there is a, there, are, there are certain techniques which has been adapted for the resource management actually so now that you have understood what resource management is all about then let's discuss how you can start implementing it across your projects getting it out so technique there are the three major techniques actually into the resource management we talk about the three techniques are discussed in the market that is the number one is the resource allocation then the resource leveling and the resource forecasting manpower planning if when we were doing actually so we were discussing about the different different manpower planning techniques because the techniques why we discuss about the techniques of the some some process anybody can tell me why we are talking talking about the techniques anyone we are talking about the resource forecasting resource allocation resource leveling why we need to move ahead with the the because the success of the project depends upon the accuracy of the technique we are adapting for managing that process getting it okay so yes, techniques yes, of resource and resource allocation we are talking about actually the first is the allocation resource allocation help you get the most from your available resources actually so so it is all about based on the team members skills and capacity resource allocation is the process of tackling projects using resources you have at your disposal in the most efficient manner possible so in the best possible manner how you can tackle the the projects using the the available resources actually that is all at your disposal so that is all about the resource allocation resource allocation the resource allocation is all about do more with less it is in the training terms if i will be calling it out then it is all about the train more with less so so resource allocation is done to get the, a clear view into allocation the resource allocation report is actually made under the when this technique actually we are making the we are developing the the resource allocation report and these can give anywhere from a high level view to a detailed run down of resources availability helping you avoid the schedule delays and going over budget okay so 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 what is the 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 uh, africa advantage of this developing the resource allocation report what is the the benefit of the going for this technique actually because it is giving you the overall view okay, okay, to up the about the availability of the resources you can keep the track of your resources okay, which resources are, are are having the shortages which are which is helping you avoiding the schedule delay delayed in scheduling and that going over budget so you are not neither going the over budget you are not able to delay if you are having the clear cut picture of your resource allocation and the better the reporting capabilities at your disposal the more transparency and efficiency you will have over your projects actually so resource allocation is all about allocating and making the report and keeping the track of the resources and you you need to so that the program should not be training program should not be delayed and should not be going over budget okay then second technique if i'll be talking about the resource labeling resource labeling is the another type of the resource management is called this so so this technique aims to discover what we are discovering in this technique actually this technique aims to discover underutilized or unutilized or inefficiently used resources within the organization and work them to your advantage whatever resources we have not utilized till date whatever are inefficiently used resources so within the organization which are available actually which are available in house how to make the utilization of those resources so resource leveling is all about for example i'm giving you out okay suppose you are having a content writer in your team okay content writer who has experience in graphic designing okay and now he can help out the design team by taking on a small content task that requires design work 
and if a team member can flex their design skills the design team would won't need to hire a freelancer if they suddenly get flooded with the design requires so they are utilizing the available resources human resources within the organization in house which are available and which has not been utilized till so resource leveling in resource leveling what we are doing we are discovering all underutilized and inefficiently used resources and then we are making the best possible utilization of that we are taking the advantages of that okay getting it out is it clear is it clear can you yes, hear me now yes ma'am yes ma yes yes okay. yes ma'am so third third yeah third technique is resource forecasting so forecasting you all know so what is the meaning of forecasting predicting something i mean predicting something mm. what to predicting future what will be happen yeah exactly future requirement future forecasting requirement. is the yeah future requirements actually so resource forecasting so we are talking about about the the future requirement resources in terms of the future requirement in the future which resources will be required because the, as i told you the the success of any project depends upon the accuracy of the forecasting technique okay so how accurate will be the forecasting that successful will be the your training program so having a resource management plan is critical to optimize people materials and budget efficiency resource forecasting allows you to predict your future resources your future requirement before a project begins in advance you are able to future this technique is used for in future in advance you are forecasting your future requirements actually and during the planning stages of project you could consider resource management software that forecast the project scope possible constraints unforeseen costs and potential risk so here we are advising that a software a system should be used actually to keep the track of it to keep the forecasting to forecast the project scope possible possibility constraints then unforeseen cost and the potential risk to make these predictions project manager or the training manager must be extremely familiar with the project life cycle and objectives what is the object training objective and have an overview of available resources within the organization and this level of visibility and this when we are using this the actually the software so then this level of visibility as well as an easy access to your projects and resources all in one place so when we are using the software we will be talking in the end actually about the training training management training resource resource management system actually which is the software in part so when you are doing the software what we are we need, you need to go ahead with the software it is advisable because through the using the software you can access track of your resources and all in one place actually so these are the techniques we use for the resource management so little time i'm i'm ahead but they are about to finish right now so so the practice which we are talk discussing about the the forecasting resource technique as well so when we are the plan in advance but because when we are planning in advance what has happened when you plan in advance then what is the advantage you are getting it out when we are planning in advance of the project start then we we can and ensure you have all resources in hand for successful implementation or successful completion or successful delivery of the project actually so it is best practice is to plan in advance do the resource management do the resource planning in advance then second is the get input from your team or industry standards okay so why the team input is required actually just to ensure that if training manager has overlooked something or some type of people or the equipment or other resources or other 
need actually then you need do you will be that will be helping these inputs will be the input before the the you are going to conduct or deliver the your training program actually from your team members and then what industry is requiring if you are industry specific then you need to go for the industry the standards also to what is specific things resources are required to give the training of the particular the specific industry actually okay and then the third is the continue updating through or the project why the continuous updation is required because the, some program actually are are we, we are doing the duration is very long term we are conducting for the long term in such cases what is happening actually there are so many changes comes in the market maybe it, it is possibility is there actually that some standards or the requirements may have changed some changes has come so why the this updation is very important actually continuous updating the through or the project is the very important practice actually you can always keep updating yourself in fact okay third is the plan at task level which all we are talking about you can always try to plan at task level at before the in advance what you are requiring and what are the resources you are requ requiring for some time what you are requiring throughout the the training program what you are requiring if necessary so these are the different different task level you need to decide plan okay then the next is create a guide for your project so it is guide means everything you are bringing in the black and white so no ambiguity will be there and the clear steps will be there so creating a guide how to move ahead with the resource management then it is it is very very important part very essential and it will be giving you the clear road map and the resource planning motive is that actually to provide you the clear road map actually okay for the success of the training project the clear road map it provides in fact okay without resources you cannot conduct implement the any because some like a physical or the logistic requirement looks very insignificant but in the absence of it so what is happening it is significantly going to affect your training feedback and the trainers feedback so we cannot overlook it out so resource planning is that's why it is important whether it's a physical resources we are talking about so not only the human resources and the financial resources is important actually physical resources the logistical arrangement the infrastructure all are any problem into the the venue accessibility of the venue and any problem into the logistic arrangement in fact any problem in putting lodging anything will go wrong into the physical requir requirement so it looks insignificant but it is going to affect your training feedback in a very significant manner it is going to affect the trainers feedback in very significant manner so create a guide and move ahead with that road map actually okay and then the last software to have everything in one place so training resource management software this is the new software into the market actually this is also known as training management software i that you can call trms or the ta so training resource management system is a software application for the administration documentation tracking and reporting of instructor led training and the virtual instructor led training actually so for, for both it is so you might have heard about the lms till date you might have heard about the lms till date actually lms you you all have heard about lms system yes ma'am okay so i'm talking yes, about the tms training management system this is the software which is advisable to use for the resource planning resource management is a part of this system actually so resource management system is a software application for the adis and the the virtual training actually so as, as you know as you know to write now the most commonly the used today's date which training we are conducting most frequently vlt virtual virtual which training we are conducting right now yeah exactly so this this form v ilt the virtual instructor lead training is is right now these days most of the time we are using it out so the training resource management system is the core system actually that enables the organization to deliver efficient instructor led training and virtual instructor led training actually and uh, 
face to face either or both blended one and it optimizes their overall training activities actually so trms is the back of a software a tool that helps training organization streamline the and optimize the ilt and vi used by the training companies and your resources in one place you can use this very new software actually in the market the tms training management system or the training resource management system so i was asking about the lms actually who, who was telling me about the lms what is the lms actually learning management system ma'am yeah what is it all because of the, you need to understand the difference it's actually learning learning management why i'm asking is because this is a new is... system into the market actually mm. where already the pre planned uh, modules are loaded onto the system and the trainee is guided through the each related uh, to which which form uh, of training uh, i couldn't get your uh, any anybody can tell me so, so lms say anybody can do what are the key features of the lms learning management system So, differ about this this management system. In fact, it's over the LMS because it is it is including the resource management as well. The training management system actually includes the attendance management, budgeting, session plan, resource management, batch management, reporting and analytics, and the booking management. So, it is it is actually why we are talking because it is often include the features of all. features of the lms ploy getting it up and lms often include the features of all lms the lms is easy to update or make changes in the learning content but this is tms is perfect for the blended learning whether it is a classroom based training or it is a e learning it is perfect for that that's why i am making you aware about this system actually right now okay because we are going for this so much the e learning as well as the if the company you are giving the classroom based also we are going for the blended the hybrid training also so tms is good for all actually so lms imparts learning to remote learners whereas it eliminates the need for multiple system actually easy to schedule learning sessions in lms but tms manage all types of administrative tasks and automate them and right now we are talking about the administrative operations we are talking about the resource management actually which is the back office job which is the administrative process so it is inclusive the tms system actually so both the lms and tms actually have their own advantages that you and lms is dedicated to the learner front office while a tms is dedicated to organization back office okay so this is the major difference is actually so decide the software on the basis when you whenever you are deciding some software actually so you decide on the three basis actually ki what first what do you need more okay whether learn what do you need more e then second where do you fall more problem where do you fall more problem that is whether in the content delivery or administrative processes getting it out so where you are finding the more problem and as per that you can go either for the lms or you are going for the tms and then third what should be the the core features or purpose of the software actually you wish to buy so on this basis you can decide whether you want to go for the lms or you want to go for the the tms actually so it is also train tms is the core system as i told you that enables organization to deliver efficient ilt as well as vilt their overall training activities so in the end we'll be discussing about the impact of the 
trrs training resource management system or the training management system both are same this is the impact of it so impact of it you can see it out the impact is the first impact is the it maximizes the your budget your budget then increase your training revenues how come it is maximizing your budget and increasing the training revenue by controlling costs then forecasting and of revenues by keeping the track of all the the by keeping the track and managing the all the financial as well as it captures orders accept the the payment online and it issue the invoices as well so this way it is maximizing your budget and increasing your training revenues then the second is by improving the overall efficiency how come improving overall efficiency by optimizing resources used automating administration streamlining logistic and improve collaboration and it schedule courses presenters and rooms okay so overall efficiency it increase and that is it is as by advisable to go for the software the training resource management soft system or the training management system and then third is the secure your training activities it it standardize actually all the processes of the resource management it secure your data and align with your business strategy actually so securing your training activity and that is the reason this is the one of the reason continuously monitor analyze and improve actually so it monitors your activity it track key kpis and then it generate reports to make the right decisions actually and the run reports to provide information to make data driven and the business decisions so it is opt so basically what is doing actually it is automating in the end you need to understand ki what the system is doing it or it is automating all manual tasks for example send registration confirmation for binder emails and surveys so it is an up to date responsive efficient training provider business so this is the end i am telling you ki manually instead of going manual resource planning or resource management you need to go through the systems actually and this is the impact of that training resource management system so this is the end from my side any query till here so little more timing i have taken but not much because of the system problem networking issue so end it till here so we have done with the resource planning you have understood what is the source planning why we are the source planning how we are doing and in the professional come in the corporate company for the bigger training project what are the processes of the source management we are following what are the techniques and what software we should adapt for doing the source management is it clear to all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am hello is it clear yes ma'am any any query till here okay yes ma'am okay okay so over to to varma ji if there's no query then varma ji are you online ah uh, yes okay so we have done actually Maybe. so little excess of time i have taken but not much i believe But then it's only more. That's okay. Actually, internet <laughs> problem also comes. Yeah, it was so much net issues today. I Such know. a frequent disconnection. Maybe we are and passing through tough time. Corona is all. Yeah, and I'm re I'm really of. thankful that they bear with me for the because of so much voice breaking was also there. Actually, they bear with me. Yeah, so I'm really thankful to all the participants. Health. Hey Seema ma'am. Mm. Uh, good evening yeah. Manisha this side. I have yeah. joined your first session today and I really appreciate that you know uh, got a quite a lot of learning from your end. But I Thank have a so small much, request. Yeah. yeah yeah. I have a small request. I would like to hear all your previous recordings on this paper so that you know I can reconnect and you know uh, recollect everything and connect uh, whatever you've taught so that you know in the further classes I should not be you know uh, missing out things or okay. probably a uh, blank on a session though the session was completely different resource planning uh, uh, comparatively it was not mm. uh, continuous in yeah, in exactly, continuation with the other because it is all about the managing so, the training yes yes, yes. I, I so that's all topics uh, I, we are covering into the managing the training process 
i am really thankful manisha you understood what the the, the way Quite i did a lot you. of things so yes ma'am so you just uh, just share your email address email id yeah email id sure, me. so the previous sure, uh, the ppt will be sharing it out so you can go through it out and Thank be prepared so by, by the next because the day. next is the selection of the trainer actually yes yeah please do Great. it out. so i i'll okay, just I'll write it to your email id yes i'll just write it here in the chat so that you can I uh, send uh, the previous one yeah. so that you know it please I can recollect and uh, connect everything that you've taught ma'am thank you so very much uh, i've just shared it uh, definitely why not thank you so much thank okay you. as for the last Pleasure. class is there any any other queries as for the last hmm. classes are concerned video recording are there already on iestd website you go to the iestd website sure sir iestd.co.in sure. And so it has already been uploaded the, by the yesterday. Well, Mamaji, all have been. It uploaded. has already been uploaded. Correct, correct. It has oh, been uploaded. Okay, that's good. That's good, Manisha. This is good. Huh? And you can go uh, you, through the yesterday website. Then you will find the Noida Mumbai. chapter. You can ask for the paper rate. Other okay. chapters are also uh, uploaded. Mumbai chapter, Chennai chapter, Bangalore chapter. I'm I've opened the site and seeing it. Jaipur chapter, Kolkata chapter, Noida chapter, Delhi chapter, Pune chapter, hmm. Gurgaon chapter. So all those things. The schedule is there, sir, but I have to. So Manisha, uh, the, all this. Man, Manisha, from which chapter you are? I am from Manisha, Delhi chapter, ma'am. Delhi chapter, chapter, Delhi chapter, are... Delhi, cha okay, Delhi chapter, okay, ma'am. Delhi. Okay. Okay. Actually, okay, no my problem. mom no was diagnosed with. Problem. Uh, a, a, a disease so for really? last no no not covid ma'am some serious one so from last one month oh, i was not oh, attending oh. the sessions so that i missed out on classes so i mm -hmm. just wanted to come back on track so that i was requesting mm -hmm. if you could share your uh, uh, ppts oh, and no, recordings it will be really great no, thank you so very actually. much right, no no issue we will I'll share we will, yeah, we will down share actually email, email id you have, you have shared now so we will be sharing the previous yeah. yes ma'am Okay. Thank you for. That. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Madam, you can leave or disconnect. I think it will go. Thank you. Hal. Yeah. Okay. So should I? Yeah. This just leave or disconnect. Yeah, Something. I have got you. Yeah. Just do it. Like this. Yeah. Sun, I have got your email ID, so I will be forwarding you all the previous one. This is by the the Sun, Sun, Sun Raj. No? No. Manisha, Manisha, you have sent the email ID. I have got it. Okay. Yeah, Vamaji, you are taking attendance. Yeah, I have already taken. See you. Thank you. Okay, then we wind up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for bearing with me.